Thank you, Ben. New tonight, Wilcox County mourning the death of its sheriff, Robert Rogers. He died this afternoon in a car accident while responding to a call. Anthony Montalto shares how the community rallied immediately after the accident was reported. The parking lot at the Wilcox County Sheriff's Office was full Tuesday, not just with Wilcox deputies, but law enforcement from all over. I've seen cars from Ben Hill County, Coffee County, and even as far as Americus. It was quiet outside the sheriff's office, somber as people gathered following the news. Just a few miles away, Highway 233 was quiet too. This is where the Georgia State Patrol says Sheriff Robert Rogers lost control of his car and crashed into a tree Tuesday afternoon. It's a terrible tragedy, you know. This whole county go mourn for a long time over this. Lenny Brown drove by around 740. He was friends with the sheriff and just spoke to him last week. Best sheriff you asked for. You know, he helped everybody. He'd help people that wouldn't even from here. Sheriff Rogers even helped Brown's son get into the military. I had a letter of recommendation that Robert wrote him one. I have the letter in the house. Brown says Rogers was a special kind of person who just wanted the best for his community. And he says Wilcox County will miss him dearly. He always helped me and everybody else, you know. Brown says he's going to remember Sheriff Rogers as someone who was there for anyone at any time whenever they needed help. And he says he believes a lot of folks around here will do the same. In Abbeville, Anthony Montalto, 13 WMAC News. Yeah, sheriff Rogers was first elected sheriff in 2016. He won re-election in 2020.